Uh, uh, this is on normal distribution. This is from my Algebra 2 class. It's also in my uh, lesson I teach in AP Stats also. So a normal distribution with mean X bar and standard deviation of sigma has the following properties. Okay, so we've got this bell-shaped curve right here, and I'll explain this bell-shaped curve right here. So the total area under this curve is equal to 1 uh, because it's 100% uh, of your data that you're dealing with. So you might have, you know, um, uh, you know a bag of chips, and it weighs so much, and and um, uh, you want to know, you know, what's the mean weight of this bag and what's the standard deviation because not every bag weighs exactly 64 ounces if it says 64 ounces. So anyways, so, um, uh, so about 68% of your data is within um, uh, one standard deviation from the mean. So this represents this red part right here is 68% of the data. Okay, and then two standard deviations represents 95% of the data. So this red part right here is 95% uh, of the data. It's within two standard deviations. One, two standard deviations to the left and one, two standard deviations to the right. See, this says X bar plus two standard deviations. This says X bar minus two standard deviations. So two standard deviations to the left and right. And within three standard deviations, it's 99.7% of the data. Okay, so almost 100% of the data. All right, so let's go back, you guys. Let's go back to the 68%. If that's 68% of the data, and this is symmetrical because it is, then this is 34% and this is 34%. You guys with me? Okay, and similarly, since this is 95% of the data, and this ends up being 68% of the, bat, the data, then if I subtract 95 minus 68, that'll tell me how much to share in these two little regions right here. Okay, and then uh, if that's 95% of the data, and that's 99.7% of the data, if I subtract those, that'll tell me how much is to split up for these two little regions right here. And my brain's a little dead this morning. So um, it ends up being, um, uh, 30, there's 34%, 34%, and these are 13.5% a piece. And then this is 2.35, uh, 2.35. And then the top, 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 this is like if I was doing heights, this would be like Shaquille O'Neal and all the big guys over here. They, wouldn't, they would be outside of the curve or outside most of the curve. They'd be 0.15% somewhere over here. Or if we're dealing with money, you know, uh, average income, Bill Gates would be way over here. Bill Gates would be virtually zero on money stuff right here. Okay? So uh, we'll talk more about that in just a second. So I want you to draw both of those, uh, those pictures right there if you haven't done so already. So for normal distribution with standard deviation sigma and mean X bar, find the probability of each. Okay, so this says that the probability of picking some X value such that it's, it's, within, it's within two standard deviations below the mean and the mean itself. Okay, so here's my picture right here. So here's the mean itself right here, and so two standard deviations below is, is right here. So what percent of the data is in between here? I think I shaded that, didn't I? Yeah. So it's a, you just add up the 13.5% and 34%, okay? And since it said probability, then I take that percent and change it to a decimal, okay? Probability answers is a decimal answer. All right, what about this? The probability that we pick some x value such that it's, one, it's in between one standard deviation below the mean, and three standard deviations above the mean. Okay, so here's the mean, here's one below, here's three above, so it's going to be this region right here. Okay, and I think I shaded that also. Yeah, there we go. So I'm going to add up 34% plus 34% plus 13.5 plus 2.35, and so probability is going to be 0.8385. Okay, nice and easy. What's the probability such that uh, I pick an X so it's farther than, greater than three standard deviations. So it's this little area right here. Okay, farther than, greater than means over here in this little piece right there. So uh, there's my little picture right there. So I get 0.15%, uh, percent, which is, um, change it to a decimal, is 0 0.0015. Okay, what about if I said uh, greater than um, uh, uh, to the left, or so to the right of this, of uh, three standard deviations below the mean. So it's greater than that. So it's all of this. So it's going to be the rest of, since it's 100% or 1 underneath that, then it's going to be 1 minus this right here. Okay? So 1 minus the 0 0.0015 is 99.85% or 0.9985. Okay? So the score on exam and entrance for firefighter programs are normally distributed with a mean of 200 points and standard deviation of 20 points. Okay? About what percent of the scores are lower than 160 points? All right. So here's my standard normal curve. It said a mean is 200 right there and the standard deviation is 20. So I, all I did is I went plus 20 
plus 20 plus 20. There's three standard deviations to the right. Here's the mean. Minus 20, minus 20, minus 20. Can you see 200 minus 20 is 180? 180 minus 20 is 160, and then minus 20 is 140. So there's my normal curve right there. So this says about what percent of the scores are lower than 160 points. So it's this little region right here. So I think this was uh, 2.35 and this was 0.15. So we're going to add those together right there. Okay, there it is. Yep, yeah, 2.35 and 0.15 so you add them together and I get about 2.5 percent okay and it's asking for percent so that's what I want 2.5 percent all right uh, same thing so candidates with scores of 220 points uh, are admitted into the training scores above it so about what percent is this okay so here's 220 so above is these guys over here so this percent I think was 13.5 this was 2.35 this was 0.15 so they want that stuff over there, so I get about 16%, okay? So, uh, this, uh, oh, and I put uh, that because I, I, I didn't want to uh, confuse my students. So I'm going to keep going in this lesson right here, you guys. So uh, the standard normal uh, distribution is a bell-shaped curve, has a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1. So, so typically, in all statistics books, you, uh, you're given this data right here, and then you use a conversion. I'll show you that in just a second right here, because we don't have a table for all situations, for the lengths of beetles, or for the weights of potato chips and bags, or for the mean uh, salary that you earn at home, or whatever the case is. You know, it could be anything. How many people stop at a stop sign at certain times of the day, or whatever. So you need, uh, you need to start somewhere. So we start with a, a mean of zero. Uh, for the standard normal distribution and then the standard deviation is one and so we're going to convert it's the same stuff you guys this is uh, 68 percent of the data or 34 percent 34 percent this is 13.5 percent this is 2.35 and 0.15 percent okay so all normal curves can be converted over into the standard normal distribution by finding your z-score so our z-score is x minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. The x bar is always our mean and the standard deviation is uh, given. This is, it's everything's given. We just plug it in. And x is the number that they ask you to focus on. So uh, x bar, whoops, I forgot to put my bar right there. x bar is, uh, let me put that in right there. x bar is the mean of the data. So that should go right there. And the standard deviation is sigma right there. Okay. So um, let me get my X bar back in here so I'll have it in my notes next time. So we're going to um, uh, use this formula a lot. So then I passed out this table to my students right here. And this is a, a very limited table in my algebra book. In my statistics book, it's two full pages of this stuff. So we're going to use this. And this you don't have to memorize this. This will be given to you. Um, and so we'll come back to that. So here, right here, this is shaded. The book is shaded for us. See, here's 0. Here's negative zero. So this is all the negatives. This is negative uh, negative point zero. Can you see that's uh, 50 percent and positive point zero is 50 percent right there. That's because if I go back to this right here, there's zero right there. 50 percent is over that way and 50 percent is that way. So that's why it's 50 percent right there. Okay. So um, uh, right here. So at negative uh, point. Um, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4. The area to the left, and this always gives me the area to the left, is 0.3446. Uh, okay, so the probability would be 0.3446. So the probability that x is less than or equal to uh, negative 0.4 is that right there, given this, if we're looking up that one right there. Okay. All right, so let's try some of this, and it's just talking about this area over there to the left right there. All right, you with me? The bell's going to ring. i got to hurry. So a survey of 20 college, uh, colleges found that the average credit card debt for seniors was, there's my X bar, 34.50, and it's normal with standard deviation of 11.75. Find each probability. Okay, so the debt was at most 300 or 3,600. Well, at most means less than or equal to, so we got to find our Z-score. This is the X that we want us to focus on so this is my x okay so this goes right here the mean whenever you see average or mean that goes right here and then the standard deviation so I get 0.1277 all right so I have to round that to 
um, it means less than or equal to. So we're looking for uh, the probability that my z-score, remember we calculated a z-score because this equals z right here. Z equals this stuff. So, and it said uh, at most, so it's the probability that my z-score is at most less than or equal to what we got right here. And then we just look this number up on the chart right here. And the chart always gives me to the left. Okay, so um, uh, so my z score is um, uh, 0.1277, so that's just a little bit to the right of zero. So the table always gives me to the left, always, always gives me to the left. So here I'm going to look up positive 0.12. So I had to go, that, I rounded that because these are only in tenths, so this is closer to 0.1. Okay, in my statistics book, it goes to the hundredth spot. So go to 0 0.1 right here, and it's positive, so I get about uh, 0.5398. So you look up, and it gives me 0.5398. Okay? All right, so how about this? The debt's between 3050 and 3700. Well, here, there's two different X values that we're going to calculate uh, for two different Z values. So let's calculate those. Okay, so we have two different Z scores. Let me get this out of the way. So here's X and here's X. So I just plug those in for my X right here. Remember, X minus X bar divided by standard deviation. The X bar is your average divided by the standard deviation. So I'm getting two Z scores right there. Okay, and when I look at that, it's saying between. So they want to know this. Now my chart always gives me to the left of that number, so it's so if I picked negative 0.34 and that was it right there, the, when I look it up on the chart, it's going to give me all of this right here. When I look up 0.21 on the chart, it's going to get me starting here and all the way to the left. It's always all the way to the left. Okay, so here's 0.2 and here's 0.3. I'm going to look up those because um, they rounded to 0.2 and 0.3, so I'll round this to 0.2. I'm sorry, and this is negative 0.3. All right, I just rounded those to the nearest tenth because my chart only gives me that. So here's negative 0.3. Okay, I'm going to look that up right here. And here's positive 0.2. I'm going to look that up right here. And then this little slice, this little slice is what I want. I'm going to subtract this side minus this side right here. And that will give me that little space in between right there. Okay, so when I do that, uh, I look up those numbers and I find here's 0.2, 0 0.4207. Here's uh, 0.3. Uh, I'm sorry, here's a negative 0.3 right there. Whoops, there's the bell. i got to hustle a little bit. And then here's the positive 0.2, so I'm going to plug those guys in right there. And I get those values, so I'm going to go ahead and subtract you guys. Okay, so that middle region is a subtraction of those two. All right. All right, so a survey of 20 colleges found that, oh, whoops, so the debt was greater than, sorry. So here's number three, the debt is greater than. So my z-score is 0.4468, so I rounded it to 0.45, you guys, because 0.45 is right between 0.4 and 0.5. So when I look up 0.4 and 0.5, I get these two numbers. Here's 0.4, here's 0.5. I'm going to average those two numbers together right there. Okay, so I get 0.67345. All right, now that's over here. Remember, the, the table always gives me to the left. I want to get to the right. So remember, the whole area equals 1. So I'm going to take that number and subtract it by 1, and I get that right there. Okay? All right, so if you're in my class, I extended this to, um, uh, whatever. I think it was 19 to 28, I think. So 19 to 28. All right, take care, you guys.